Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a VLOOKUP and bring back values for multiple columns. So when I say bring back val values for multiple columns, let's say that I want to pick a name here and I want to bring back values from uh, different columns. So when I say bring back values from multiple columns, when you bring back the values, uh, let's say that for example we want to look up Jack and we want to get the values from January, February, March. Now of course uh, it probably end up in an error because VLOOKUP is not going to really be able to bring back those values uh, unless you do something where you're concatenating things. Um, uh, but if we wanted to bring back all those values under kind of one simple, relatively simple formula and have it do something like add it or, or get the maximum something or get the average, we can actually do that. And that's using uh, an array. So this is how you would actually do it. Let's say, for example, let me put Jack in here, right? And that will be my reference. So, and maybe I want to get the sum of all Jack's sales figures for January, February, and March, uh, the first quarter. So all I need to do is type equals VLOOKUP. Uh, I tab it to complete it there, and my lookup value is going to be cell uh, A10, and comma, and my table array is going to be my table array here so from, um, I can do A1 to, to G5, uh, basically my table. Uh, I, I can do either A1 or A2 to uh, G5, but I'm just going to choose A1 to G5. And then the column index number, and usually uh, with a normal VLOOKUP, you're going to either type, you're going to either have the, the in this instance, it'd be the second column or the third column or fourth column. But you can see um, if we wanted to get multiple columns, say I want to get column two to uh, columns January to Feb to March, that's two, three, and four. And I can put that in there, but I have to put it under uh, curly brackets. So this kind of denotes an array, two, three, four. And close it with curly brackets. And the range lookup, I'm going to want that to be an exact match. So I'll just go ahead and click exact match and then close parentheses. So if I go ahead and just press enter, it's going to just give me the first value, the two, the second column. But what I would need to do to, in order to ensure that I've got this set up as an array, uh, you'll notice that uh, once I pr when I press enter, it didn't do anything to denote that this was uh, enclosed as an array function. What I need to do is go ahead and press Control, Shift, and then press enter. And you, now you notice that there's these curly brackets in front of it. But you also notice that it really didn't provide me with the total here. So the total here, if I'm going to uh, go out here, the total here should be 594, right? And uh, really to express that type of um, uh, combination uh, and bring back multiple values so I can do something with it, I would have to enclose it into another function. Let's say I wanted to get the sum of it. So I put sum uh, parentheses and then close the parentheses here, press control, shift, enter, and now I have my sum. So really, we're bringing back values from the VLOOKUP from multiple um, multiple columns when you think about it. But we'll have to do something with those values. Uh, we have the sum it. We can, we can actually average it, too. Let's say I want the average of this first quarter. Uh, I'll put it in the average function and press Control, Shift, Enter. And now we'll have an average, 318. So if I uh, select this, you'll see that my average shows up there. So that's the way that we can bring back values from uh, different multiple columns in a VLOOKUP. But we'll have to enclose that into another function. We can either sum it, average it, uh, put a max. You'll see once we have this formula set up, uh, the reference where it's pointing to, A10 here, we can actually change that. Let's say it was when, W-E-N, right? And when is going to give us an average of 640. If we select when here, we have an average of 640. If we wanted to change it to sum, we all, all we need to do is just take, uh, go ahead and type sum, control, shift, enter to execute it as an array function. And we have 1920, which if I, if I select these three values, we have 1920. So that's the way that we can do a VLOOKUP on multiple, multiple columns. So we'll have to bring back those values and put it into another function to do something else like sum or average. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.